sorry. Hey, what are you doing inside? No entry to public. It's alright, I'm from the Leighton Detective Agency. The police have given us permission to investigate here. You're a serviceman of, for the great, great clock, I take it. No, yes, I'm Hans. Hans Zipski. He's suspicious already. If this is for the missing hand, I already said to the police everything I know. You people are drilling a hole are drilling a hole in my belly, what the... Well, I'm sorry to ask you to repeat yourself, but would you mind telling us what you told the police, Mr. Lipsky? Lipsky? Ken Lipsky? He can't help his name, Cheryl. There is nothing for telling. When, ha when Hand went missing, I was already at my home. I don't know nothing. You went home early yesterday, I understand? Day before, I was working until midnight fixing the clock. So yesterday, I go home early. Was there anything unusual about the hand that was taken? It wasn't loose or misaligned or anything. No, I fixed it only two days ago, like I tell you. When I put it back, I make sure it is good fixed on. I see. So there are no chance that the hand dropped off then? Slipped out of your hands, perhaps? Police already investigated everything, and here are on clock face, but they find nothing and have gone now, and have gone now. Yes, tell me, Mr. Lipsky, when did you notice that the hand was missing? Same time like everyone else. When I looked out the window in the morning, I see missing hand. Oh, so where you live is, is inside of the clock tower, in the side of the face with a missing hand, I see. No, yes, I am living close to here, on Chancer Lane. Gosh. How extraordinary, the same street that the agency is on. It is strange that we didn't know that the hand was missing ourselves. Exactly, I am sure I remember seeing it when I looked at the clock tower this morning. Because you were looking at a different face, it depends where you are living. This guy is so suspicious. You found a clue, recently repaired our hand. Repair the clock tower, serviceman hands Lipsky claims that the comb from the hand. Uh, yeah, no, the guy's suspicious. Really, apart from missing your our hand, nothing seems to be out of place. Golly, there are no clues at all. I would have expected to see some trace of the crime. After all, the search a large object to make off with. We need more information. Let's go back down to the ground. There's something I'd like to ask Inspector Hasty. I knew it was come the descent. It's alright for you, I'm taking my life but I'm taking my life in my paws and climbing down these stairs. Ah yes, with your short little legs. Get off! Now now Cheryl, it's safer this way. Ernest will carry you. Carry you down, won't you Ernest? I will. Hey, why did you pull that face off face for? I haven't got fleas in it. I didn't pull a face. Come on, no arguing, just tread carefully, Ernest. Yes, miss. You've earned some fashion far things. I have far oh far things. One letter Miss one letter and sounds completely different. Once per day you can obtain fashion farthings via the daily bonus. You can use fashion farthings you say uh, up in the wardrobe section of cat's bag to purchase to purchase outfits. However, be careful of changing your Nintendo Switch console system sometime because you won't be able to obtain the daily bonus for a short while if you do. You might also uncover fashion farthings during the, during the course of your investigations around London, so keep your eyes peeled. Okay, now let's. Let's go. There's Inspector Hastings. Look, even from, from a distance, I can see the furrows in his brow. Perhaps his investigation is going very well, miss. Jesus Christ. I want a few so a puzzle to, to me. There are also puzzles coming right over. Keep your head one more time. Mm, yeah, no. Nothing new. Ah, cat! What have you got for me? Who did it then? Who is the culprit? 
Please, Inspector, calm down. I'm still in the middle of my investigation. Oh, I see. I have a quick question for you, actually. According to Mr. Lipsky, your officers examined the clock face, is that right? Yeah, of course. I had them check the clock room and the clock face and all on the side as well. But there are no clues, no fingerprints, nothing. There really are no traces at all, are there? Well, I had them take samples from the floor, on the walls and from the clock face. They are being analyzed back in the yard now. What will the results be ready? Shouldn't be much longer. So what's your next move? I think we'll head back to the chan to Chancellor Lane. We will? You mean you're going back to the office, Miss Layton? You can't do that, you haven't gotten anywhere yet. I need your full attention on this case, Cat. Inspector Hastings, please. You mustn't be so blinkered. Sometimes you have to take a step back in order to see things from what for what they really are. Is, it, is that so? Yeah, so if you'll excuse us. Hey, you're not serious. Are you sure leaving the scene is the best idea, Cat? Yes, of course. Come along now, you two. Let's go back to the Chancellor Lane. It's no distance. We'll be there in a jiffy or on the bike. Ah, yes. I should explain how we move around during the investigation. Again. I examine the back of the bike with the magnifying glass in the best way to cover long distances. So that, select destination and either press A or the move button to head that way. Oh, and can you also press plus or go by bicycle in rotating mode as well? It just works. It works just the same. The next place to visit in terms of investigation is highlighted with an exclamation mark in relocation mode 2. So your trusty bicycle will come in handy in investigation mode and relocation mode. Miss Layton, splendid. Precisely, so back to the Chancellor Lane it is. On the move. Can I can see it. You're right at Chancellor Lane Corner. Well, here we are, Chancellor Lane Corner. There are a lot of interesting shops around here, aren't there? It's such a li lively place. We're here for a mini break, are we? Good idea. First, I have something to eat. Eh? You know the old maxim a rumbling tummy is a def detective's downfall. No one says that. Of course they do. Well, they should do, anyway. You know, thinking about it, I don't know this street very well at all, even though it's where the agency is located. This is a perfect opportunity to have a stroll down the lane and get better acquainted with our neighborhood. Well, kids, eh? Well, at least I don't have to be on the lead. I think it was supposed to be unleashed there or something like that. Oh. You discover a perplexing preserver. It's an entire collection. I love outdoor seating. Yeah, I kind of had a feeling there was going to be a coin there. There's a bike. Wait. No, oh, don't tell me. It's as if. Well, who knew? I was just looking around and suddenly I found a puzzle at the end of my muzzle. That happens, Cheryl. Puzzles get everywhere, you see. And seeing as you found it, you can solve it. Why me? Because I want to see if you're, if you're worth keeping on. Keeping on. Go on, see if you can pound it out. <laughs> Alien attack. I really start saving before I do anything. Use a special beam cannon. What am I using? Is Piccolo's, Piccolo's move? The hell? To wipe out the fleet of UFOs that have appeared over the streets of London. Each UFO has a number on it, and this is the number of times you must hit it to destroy it. All UFOs must be destroyed. Each beam has enough energy to travel along one line only. You can choose the direction of the beam, but you cannot travel along the same line twice. To fire, select where you would like the beam to travel.
Like... Wait. Ah, okay. Ah, it's one of those puzzles. Okay, okay, okay. No, wait. I think I need to go here. Ah! No, 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 I, I can't really tell I kind of messed up, but I think I got, I got the general idea now. A few inches later. Okay, so I probably need to start with the middle one then, okay. can travel. Oh no, I got it, I got it. Okay. I eat puzzles like this for breakfast. That was too easy. Oh, thank Christ. You did it, you restored peace to the city. Focusing your attacks on the UFO with the highest number while attacking the surrounding UFOs was a key to destroy the whole fleet. Yeah, I kind of figured that one out later. Hey, <laughs> that's a walk in the park for a hound like me. Oh, jolly good, Shirl. You can solve puzzles on top of everything else. Top dog. Yes, very impressive, Shirl. I can see you're going to be very useful. I don't like the sound of that. That's fair, I suppose. I smell sugar even from here with my notes. Everything delicious, I don't stop at all. Oh, yes, yeah, so I was. Oh, wait. Ah. Yes, I thought so. You can see the clock fitting me in from here. Poor clock, it looks like a lame animal with a missing hand. How are people who live around here going to know what time it is? Yeah, okay, first things first. Let's say, because. Uh, there are probably more puzzles to be solved. Oh look, what a lovely terrace area this restaurant has. Ciao, Bella. Can I take your order, signori? Signorina? Ah, thank you. Golly, he's a little over familiar, isn't he? Just before you order, I, will, I wonder if I could ask you something. Has there, has there been anything unusual happening out here recently? Anything unusual? Mm. Well, a lot of the cutlery has been gone missing lately. Frocks and spoons and things. Oh yes, and silver tray as well. You mean they were stolen? I cannot say. There, no, there were no signs of breaking and entry, no cash taken. So it doesn't seem like a burglar exactly. I see, well, thank you. Now would it be alright if I ordered? I like the squid ink spaghetti with the fatty de herb salad on the side, please. Sounds delicious! And then the chef's omnis omelette special, the hellfire risotto and the mushroom surprise gnocchi, please. All at the same time. What? And they say dogs have bigger eyes in their bellies. Jesus. For a minute there, I actually thought you were attempting some serious moving work. What did I just tell you, Cheryl? An empty stomach is the detective's worst enemy. Mm, okay, I, I must go and write all of that down before I forget. We did find another clue, but apparently yes, even here there are pieces of metal being stolen. Also the cutlery. I'm not gonna lie, I honestly thought oh maybe I'll make one mystery each part, but no, there. These parts are gonna take forever to end, Jesus. Ah, this place serves the best seafood in town. So it does. I've sailed the seven, seas and the seven Seas, and this place stops them all. Now, I've had a belly full. I suppose I should be heading. Gotta get back to work. Let's see, what time's Big Ben got? Ah, good, at least it's, it's not a big Ben Jack's clock face at you from here. That would have been just, just my luck. As best as seeing as how I'm after losing me watch and everything. I really rely on the old clock tower now. Gosh, the missing hand of the clock is already inconveniencing people, it seems. Exactly. 
which is why we need to be pushing on with the investigation, not sampling every dish on the menu. Ah, that was absolutely delicious. I do believe I may be full. Maybe? You just ate for four! Stop making all of them my gluten. You and her share the food too. Yes, and it was yummy. <laughs> well, anyway, shouldn't we get be back, getting back to the investigation now? Good idea, Cheryl. We simply have to recover the hand before Ambassador... I'm not gonna say the name, but it's small. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We satisfied our, satisfied our appetite, yes. But, but now we've enjoyed the meal, there's something that must come before anything else. Dessert! Of course. You want more? Well, there is a nice looking cafe shop further up the street. Yes, you're right, Turnus. I've admired their cakes through the window for too long. I'm, I'd already made up my mind to pay the place of his before long. This is a perfect excuse. <sighs> We're never going to find a head in time. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I think I finished everything here. Let's go for here. Mmm, smell delicious sweet scent. See all these tasty trees signed up before my eyes making my tummy rumble. You're hungry? After that 10 course meal? <laughs> you know what they say, Cheryl. There is always room for dessert. Now, let's invest investigate all the tempting offerings they have on sale. How about investigating the case? Oh, I say, that pastry chef looks awfully familiar. Do we know him from somewhere? Hello! Lipsky? Oh, uh, wait. Either the... Let me guess. They're twins, right? Hello, looking to take to take a little something on two thing, but you can't decide what? Ah, you're the serviceman from the clock tower. That's his. That's it. Yes, it's Mr. Lipsky again. So you run a cake shop as well as being a technician on the clock for the clock tower in Elizabeth Tower? You must be rather busy. Of course I do not. I'm Alex Alex Lipsky. Running the pastry is my only job. You mistake me for for my twin brother, Hans. He's working Big Bang. Not me. Oh, I see, you have a twin. Well, that explains it. How extraordinary, bumping into both of you on the same day. And how interesting that you have both gone into such different lines of work. Ah, uh, no, yes, at first maybe Baker and Technique look and pose apart. But there are some similarities, more similarities than you think. Really, what kind of similarities? You must both be good with hands. We have always had the skills to work with complicated things since we were young boys. My Bratsy... Brat, Bratsy works with clocks? I work... Oh, okay! Hans is a young one, okay. Work with cakes. But we both must work with our hands and our hands in the same way. It does sound like you're both chosen very difficult professions. Oh, yes. Anyway, you're coming here to buy cakes, not to, not to talk, I think. Please take a look and tell me what you want. Thank you, we will. We'll have a good look around at everything. Oh god, there's a... What a strange place to find a big teddy bear like this. It's so sweet, isn't it? But then... But then it is a sweet shop. Haha. <laughs> uh, that was terrible, Ernest. Truly terrible. Sorry, anyway, I suppose it's just here as a decoration, isn't it? No, Ernest, I mean, it was absolutely awful. Truly awful. Well, we'll just have to grin and bear with it. Oh, wait a minute, though. There's something strange about this bear. Haha, <laughs> that is not bear, that is one of my cakes. Really? It's not a real bear? I, I had no idea. You can't tell at all, it's so realistic. Is everything in here accurate in your creations? No, yes, everything you see in my shop is cake or pastry made by me to look like something from everyday life. Well, I can say you see that you have a rare talent, Mr. Lipsky. I saw that's ridiculous and all that, but then again, there is this guy that pretty much makes ridiculous uh, sculptures out of chocolate. So who knows? Maybe it is. Maybe it is possible. 
It is my fun to see how much like real thing I can make my creations. I use all diff I use all different ingredients from around the world to make things look exactly like life. At this moment, I experimented with wafer. Well, your effort is certainly paying off, Mr. Lipsky. These creations are capital. No, yes, my customers like it. They want these cakes for presents for their friends and for parties. That is made mostly from wafer as well, and yes, they are chocolate. Wow, I'm so impressed. Let's have a look. Let's have more of a look around, miss. Wait. Multicolor macaroon. Are these pretty things cupcakes? They are beautiful rose, and rose tips. They are also good for tweet. These three. I must have taken an age to make. So long to knock it up so quick to walk down. That's fair. Mr. Lipsy said all the ornaments and decorations in the shop were cakes that he'd made, didn't he? Which presumably means these flowers aren't little flowers, does it? Yes, you're quite right on this. On closer inspection, they are actually made from icing, sugar, or something. I wonder what they taste like. Miss Layton, no, you can't possibly take a bite of such a beautiful, mean, beautifully made object. Oh, and these count? Good to know. Oh, the clock is a cake as well! Jesus Christ! Yes, because my hands are turning. It is hard to tell, isn't it? Jen, I generally thought it was a real clock at first. Like, did the brother steal it for something? What? You know what? No, not journal. But I have a feeling this little girl is gonna give me a puzzle. Or not. These cakes are simply divine, and so beautifully presented, too. Alex really is so talented, he can make a cake in any shape you care to think of, you know. It all looks so sumptuous. Eh? I can never decide what to buy. I think I have one of these, no, yes, no, yes, or maybe... Ah, no, yes, when I come here, I always look mimicking the charming way Alex speaks. I thought it was gonna be a puzzle. Nothing here. Love the cakes, that's what to be eaten. I can't quite hear the catch. Can you open it for me? You should buy cakes from here. Yeah, okay. I'm assuming it's probably the last one I need to talk to, but is there really no coins here? Because. No, wait. Aha! So there are coins here, I just need to carefully investigate. Okay. Okay, to be fair, it should have been obvious. I think all, almost all lamps of like are gonna have hint coins. And I think there are only two per level. Wrong. I take back what I said. There are more than two. What a fine selection of cakes. Have you made your decision? Oh, it's so hard. Everything here looks so tasty. By the way, Mr. Lipsky, do you know that uh, our hand and one of the clocks in Elizabeth Tower had been missing? No, yes, I know. Of course, my breath is worried about this. Yes, Hunt said he was hoping to have it repaired as soon as possible. He cannot relax if clocks are not turning as they should. No, naturally. I understand how he feels. So, have you decided what you like? Oh, I'm sorry, we're so busy on my all your wonderful decorations. Um, yes, I think I'll go for some of your profitel rolls, please. That. What is that? No, yes, but you have to wait your time if you don't mind. I always make my, uh, I'm not gonna say that, fresh. I will put cream into cases when they are ordered, never before. That way, cases remain crisp like they should be. Oh, I'm licking my lips already. Good, I'm going to the kitchen and make for you. Oh, then I go to... Please wait here. Hmm? Pick it up a sand cat? Actually, the rubbish bin here has caught my eye. Mind you, I did like investigate that for earlier, but... Okay. It could be... Do with being empty, couldn't it? All the rubbish is spraying out. Yes, which seems out of place in such an elegant shop. It looks like the most mostly paper in there. Perhaps you should investigate?
There's lots of shreds of paper in the bin. Hmm. It's a sketch of something by the looks of it. I wonder what. You can tell with the paper all, all pieces like you can tell with the paper in all pieces like that. Oh, sorry. It wasn't a question. No, we'll have to do something about that. Puzzle time. Oh, this one isn't the worst. There are some pieces of paper in the bin with something drawn on both sides. Put them back together in one sh as one sheet and work out what the picture shows. Press and hold the A to pick up a scrap of paper and move it around in the, in the frame. Take care not to overlap any pieces and know that you can't move the pieces that are right in position. You can flip scraps with paper over by pressing L and R while you're holding it. Oh wait, this is a... Oh, okay. Wait. Like this? Let's put you here for now. Right? I'm I'm seeing something here, like maybe like this? Yes. Oh no wait! What the oh wait. Oh, it's like this. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, wait. I, oh, okay, I can't remove these ones, but these ones I can put in where I Oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, okay, I figured out more or less how this works. Three weeks later. No, wait, this... Yeah, this piece goes here, but... Oh, because this one... Yes, okay, okay, okay. And this piece goes here. Yeah, this piece goes like this. And this piece goes here. I've seen how to solve this now. And that's how it's done. Nice. This one wasn't that difficult. You did it! Putting the pieces of paper back together showed a recipe for some bread in the shape of a squid. On the back is something that looks like the hand of a cloth. 